And so God sent the angel of the Lord to stand in the road and block his way. Now, most of us see that. We think angel of the Lord, we think a chubby baby with wings, right? We're like, oh, that's not that intimidating. You know, I'll knock a little kid over. I got no problem with that, right? Okay, I don't want you to think a chubby baby with wings. I want you to think of the most powerful warrior in heaven. The angel of the Lord is the general of heaven's armies, and sometimes he is referred to actually as Jesus Christ himself. He is the king of kings and lord of lords, and when he shows up, you lose. When he shows up, the devil runs. He's like, oh, it's over. The angel of the Lord is here to block his way, and as Balaam and his two servants were riding along, this is hilarious, Balaam's donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with drawn sword in his hand. And this is just God's humor. You know, God is a comedian, an eternal comedian. Because get this, what does Balaam do for a living? He's a professional seer. He sees things that no one else sees. And in this instant, God himself is standing on the road in front of him, and he can't see it, but his mule can. Why? Because God is funny. That's why. That's why. Oh, it gets better. It gets better. Okay? Put on your Shrek hats, because here it comes. Eddie Murphy is about ready to show up and start talking. Okay? So the donkey sees the angel of the Lord standing in the middle of the road with his sword drawn, ready to kill him. So what does the donkey do? Okay? The donkey runs. That's what you should do. You get out of the way. The donkey bolted off the road into a field. I love Balaam's spiritual response. He beat it and turned it back to the road. Isn't that what we do sometimes when God puts a hurdle in front of ourselves? No, 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 I'm going to do it my way. You know, we don't beat our donkey, but we, you know, we just beat our families to death with our stubbornness and our pride and our egos. We're going to do this. This is going to be fun. Everyone, smile with me. Get in the car or you'll be sorry, right? And we just keep going. But Balaam beat it and turned it back to the road. Then the angel of the Lord stood at a place where the road narrowed between two vineyards. So the angel of the Lord positions himself in such a manner that the donkey's got to squeeze by. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, it tried to squeeze by, but it crushed Balaam's foot against the wall. The donkey's like, oh, we're going to die. So what does Balaam do? He beats the donkey again. He's frustrated. Why? Because he's a genius. Then the angel of the Lord moved further down the road and stood in a place too narrow for the donkey to get by at all. This time, the donkey saw the angel, and it just laid down. It's like, I'm not doing this. I am not doing this. Circle these words, in a fit of rage. I thought he was already ticked. At this point, he loses his mind. In a fit of rage, Balaam beat the animal again, now with his staff. Okay, a whip is not big enough. He, he, he's pulling you know, tree logs out and just beating this donkey. And what's hilarious is, the Lord gave the donkey the ability to speak. Now, some of you guys are, oh, this is physiologically impossible. A donkey is not able to uh, move its tongue muscles in such a way to produce a sound against it. Listen, I don't know how the Lord said in the beginning, let there be light, and there was light. I don't understand this. I don't understand how Jesus Christ was crucified on a cross, stabbed in his heart, thrown in a grave, three days later, got up and ate fish tacos. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Okay? So, just nerd, listen to me. The miracle is not the donkey. The miracle is God acting. Okay? God can do whatever God wants to do. And if it takes an ass to speak into your life, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Right? We know he uses me. Amen? Amen. All right. All right. 